you know, on KT News. Good night. Moving on to other stories making headlines, the first commercial flight to Kakamega landed in the county today. While launching the first flight, Deputy President Rigadi Gashagwa say they will open up the region economically besides easing transport of passengers. Skyward Express and the Kenya Airport Authority say the flights aren't only for the festive season but will operate throughout the year. 10.55 a.m. Wednesday and the Skyward Express commercial flight touched down at the Kakamega airstrip signaling the start of air transport operations in the western region. The step, according to Deputy President Rigathi Gashagwa, who flagged off the maiden flight at the Wilson Airport in Nairobi, will not only ease movement of people to and from Western Kenya, but will open the region economically. And I can just imagine how nice it is now to have any business in Kakamega, in Bungoma, in Mumias, and the surrounding areas. So this is very good, and Captain Mohammed, we want to urge you to partner with the government and open up more routes across the country so that Kenyans can travel with ease. After 59 years of independence, we were able to launch the first maiden flight, the only flight, scheduled flight to Kakamega Airport. And we feel honored and we feel happy to be part of Kakamega family. The airstrip is not a new facility, but its existence has in the past met hurdles, including inadequate land for its expansion. Neighboring communities have since been called upon to move and will be compensated. We are going to give options uh, to the county government uh, so that they tell us how much do they want the runway extended up to, and depending on uh, the airport that they envisage. We are going to provide the necessary land required for expansion of this airstrip because you understand the importance of having this airstrip on matters tourism and also easing our transport skyward express that has been the first to tap into the region's airwaves assuring that the flights are not just for the festive season but will operate throughout the year with two flights every day the Western region prides itself as home to several tourist attractions, including the Kakamega Forest, the historical Cryingstone, among others, which air transport will complement in terms of easing accessibility. Najwa to Kimaliza Bohongo Stadium, which is almost being completed, to Kwena Airport Kubo Hapa, we are going to qualify to be one of the hosts of African Cup of Nations, the flights will not only ease transport of people from western to Nairobi, but according to stakeholders, it will also make the region's tourism sector to flourish and thus unlock the region's economic potential. Alan Ochanda, KTN News.